what's your first week working on a new idea like? Like, what do you, if you've gotten this idea while you're in traffic or wherever it is, <laughs> standing in line at the supermarket, mm -hmm. but then you're actually, okay, I'm going to invest time in this. What's it like? Uh, it's just notes. So I'm very organized, disorganized. Um, it's, it's, it's a notebook where I am just, I'm writing either lines of dialogue, ideas for a scene, something about a character, character breakdown, um, any number of things that I think are a, a theme, um, something that I want somebody to say, I don't even know what character would say it, but this is a line that I want, something where it's happening, um, it's that. It's a bunch of that. I don't do the note card thing, I don't, I will, I will write a series of notes. I might even from those notes, like I'll fill up one of those, like those black, I don't know if I have any, those black notebooks, you know, the things that in seven where the guy used to make all his notes, right? One of those. I'll fill one of those up and I might write a draft out of that. That draft will suck. But I have something and then I might then make an outline from the draft. So I've got notes that I turn into a draft that I will then turn into an outline to find structure. I don't like to structure first. Because I'm not as interested in plot. I'm, I'm really not that interested in plot at all. I'm much more interested in character and theme. And so it's about um, ideas and how I'm trying to express those ideas, whether it's through characters' actions or their context or whatever. Um, and so I've found that if I try to impose structure first, which is what I think of as outline being as a structural thing, that then I get too focused on the mechanics of plot, which I don't care about at all. I want it to be about character and character's journey, however you want to describe it. Um, so that's why outline actually comes for me um, after I've written a draft so that I can then, okay, here are all these ideas. Are there a way I can structure these ideas now? Okay, If that makes sense. So it's not an efficient way. Like if I was like on for hire for a script, I probably couldn't do it that way, but I'm nobody's knocking on my door to do that. Pay me a bunch of money to write a script for them. So this way allows me to um, to hold on to the things that I think are more important. Because if I'm worried about um, these kind of story beats and steps, and because American movies are all about causality, this causes this, causes this, causes this, um, then I might lose the character. Because if the character is doing things that are contradictory, there's not a clear causality between them, that might be way more interesting than if there is. Um, so that's kind of the way. Whether that happens over a week, I don't know. I've got two kids now. Who the hell knows how long it'll take me to get to those places. It might get me, I might get to a draft in a week, but I kind of doubt it. Um, that first week is probably just going to be notes, 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 um, and trying to figure out who it is. And then when you actually get a first draft down, mm -hmm. are you doing the sort of putting it away and then looking at it again? Or yeah, what? that's generally a, what I found is the best thing. It's um, I want to I want to look at it with fresh eyes. I, I'm not sending it to anybody yet because it's not good enough yet. I, you don't want to waste people's time, and I don't want to get a bunch of notes from. I don't want to waste their time, and I also don't want to get a bunch of notes for stuff that I'll. Of course, I know what's wrong with it, right? After I look at it a second time. Um, so it's, don't look at it for whatever, a couple weeks, a month, something like that. Um, and then go back in and look at it and, um, hopefully do a pretty significant teardown of it. Um, pieces of it will survive, but it should be a pretty significant teardown because the first thing shouldn't be very good. It should, um, you're trying to get some ideas out. Uh, you're trying to work around those ideas, but, um, it's not going to be anywhere near with the finished product. I mean, that first draft of Faith from 10 years ago was vastly different than the thing, the movie that we shot. You still have it? Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. It's, on a, it's on a thumb drive somewhere. Yeah. Where did you write it? <laughs> I did the, uh, the very cliched thing. This was before I had kids, so I could do this. As I, I uh, uh, went to, I went up the coast and I just rented a hotel for like two or three days and banged out the first draft. I mean, I had a whole bunch of it sort of worked out. So it wasn't like a, what's my idea? And three days later, I had a finished draft of the script. I had a whole bunch of notes and stuff that I was working from, but yeah. 
Did you say it like an ocean view hotel? Uh, no, I, don't, I didn't have the money to afford <laughs> oh, okay. that, but it was by the ocean. Yeah. Oh, it sounds so romantic. Okay. Yeah, 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 no, I did that. <laughs> so, but yeah, good luck to me convincing my wife to let me do that again now, leave her with two kids so I can go right. I don't think that's going to happen. Did you do it with a laptop or did you yeah. get right yeah, it? Yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy to do long form. I've, I've, uh, that was one thing that like I had final draft very early on when I was still an undergrad and I've just gotten used to writing that way. Was the, was going back to that 10 year hotel stay, was that ticking clock worth it in terms of it actually got you to finish it? Cause you're like, I'm here. I paid for this <laughs> yeah, hotel. Man, yeah, I know it helped. It. But that, that, it helped. I'm sure. I can't remember it so long ago, um, but it was also like it was good to just um, that was just the thing I was there to do. It was just that, you know, nothing else. Um, it was a good feeling, and also the the idea felt like you have times when you're reaching for the idea, like you're you're writing, and but you're still reaching for the idea. Um, the idea was like close enough. To where I could do it in that three days time, you know, and get it out. There's other scripts that were the idea is not close enough to where I, I wouldn't be able to get it all out in three days time. If that makes any sense. It does, yeah. It's interesting. Hmm. How many drafts of Faith did you write before you sent it to your producer, Mike? I had probably written three, maybe four, something like that. I want to say, I'd have to go back and look, but I want to say it was three or four drafts. Um, and it's a, yeah, like I said, it's a vastly different script than the one um, that we ended up shooting. That, thematically, it's the same. Uh, structurally and character-wise, it's a little bit different. So three or four drafts in, you send it to him. What's his time frame for getting back to you? What were the notes? Uh, he got back to me probably within hmm, three weeks, something like that. Um, again, I don't want to make it sound like I just sent it to him. Like there was plenty of people I sent it to who didn't respond, um, but it was kind of in his wheelhouse. Like it's he was. He told me when he was like fourteen, he was thinking about being a priest. Oh wow! Um, but then girls, and so then no, no priest. <laughs> girls didn't. happened. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh -huh. um, and um, his his response. I mean, he he responded to the script. He he said. I, I like the way it's dealing with these kinds of um, with issue these kinds of issues, but no judgment to the characters. Mm -hmm. um, and then he had a few ideas for the ending, as I recall, or I don't know. So then we we talked on the phone about it, and um, he suggested I do another like scene outline. So I did a scene outline, and then he came out to L.A. because he was here. He's a New York based producer. He was here because one of his films was it was around the Independent Spirit Awards. I remember that. And one of his films was nominated for, I, don't know, I think it was one of the actors or something. And so then we got to meet and talk face to face. And he suggested a big change. I, the, originally the story was um, actually divided between two characters whose two different stories going on. And he suggested just to s simplify it, to just focus on one character for a number of reasons. He said, don't change the the again it's the themes the ideas all that stuff stays the same you just got to simplify the story so it's just one person's story um so i did that um and he would he responded really positively to that rewrite um and so then we were kind of off and running in terms of then trying to generate interest we ended up out i ended up out in new york through uh, with ifp um they had a, a this kind of screenplay what did they call it? This program, this emergency, emerging storytellers, um, where they selected. It was a pretty competitive program. They only select X number of scripts, and then we get to meet uh, with like Sony Classics, and I don't remember a bunch of different companies. You know, try to generate interest, see if you can get any money. We didn't get any money, <laughs> um, but uh, but it was a really good thing, and and um, and then it was I rewrote a couple more drafts, and then. Eventually, we got there. Do you think the themes in faith are ones that people can relate to, even if they're, you know, non-denominational? They're not part of a church, yeah. even if they don't consider themselves 
religious. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I think the audience for it will probably be more people who consider themselves agnostic, um, more so than well, I don't know. God. Sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I think the audience for it will probably be people who consider themselves uh, agnostic. I mean, I don't know. We there might be some um, some regular churchgoers who who are interested in it too. Um, but yeah, I mean, especially people who maybe went to church as um, when they were kids and now aren't as connected to it. Um, I think they probably will respond to it. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. I mean, that's a big thing now. Is like you uh, you're supposed to. Figure out who your audience is beforehand, right? Ugh, I'm not. I'm not as comfortable with that, uh, just because I feel like you're. Um, I want to make the thing. I want to make the thing that's in my head that I think is interesting without thinking about who else is going to find it interesting. Not because I don't think or don't want anybody else to find it interesting, but I'm too I'm worried that if I focus too much on what other people are thinking about it that then I'll lose the thread uh, of what's interesting about it to me. The the hope is that if it's interesting to me, it's going to be interesting to other people if we do it well enough. And um that will hopefully be enough to get in a big enough audience to um, make the movie worthwhile, um, but who knows? Um, I mean, I just I like the. I know several people who were sort of involved in this, like marketing and distribution before you make the movie, and I understand it because of these things we've been talking about in terms of the lack of funding and trying to um, get your money back from a movie. I completely understand it, but just as a, as the writer director and me is like I, I i can't think about that stuff or else all of a sudden you're worried about this choice and how it fits in the film you're not worried about if it fits in the 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 world of the film you're worried about how other people are going to respond to it and i just i that's anathema to me i just i can't i don't want to do it so i don't know we'll see <laughs> you know you you uh you hope you hope that you've done something that enough people will respond to because there's, you know, people have um, put their faith in you and and um, put some money behind the movie and and so um, you don't want to disappoint them. You want it to you want that that faith to be rewarded. So here's hoping. <laughs>